to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're going over field equipment used by the Bundeswehr in the late 20th century and the early 2000s. Uh, you'll notice on the title card I called this German field gear, late 20th century. And the reason I did that was, I'm really not exactly sure what the name of it actually is. Uh, I didn't find anything definitive on the internet, and I talked to several of my friends in Germany who have served in the Bundeswehr, uh, at the time that this would have been used, and they all just referred to it as field gear. They didn't have a specific name like we would in the Marines 782 gear, for example, or the Army TA-50, or even something generic as Molly or Alice or Pals. Uh, they just called it field gear. Uh, so being that these gentlemen uh, had served in units as diverse as Gebergjäger, uh, Panzergrenadier, uh, regular line infantry, one was even Luftwaffe, um, I'm going to take their word for it that field gear uh, is the generic term that everybody in the Bundeswehr uses for this equipment. Let's go ahead and take a look at this gear in detail. This is pretty much how it looks uh, from the outside before you put it on. Now some non-standard things that I've added to this is I have some USGI style, Alice style pistol mag pouches and a US Molly canteen cover for holding the canteen. Otherwise, the other equipment mounted here is all Bundeswehr issue. And from the outside, it's pretty straight uh, forward. The main difference between this and U.S. Alice gear is that what we would call a butt pack, they would more call a mid-back pack, I guess, because it rides high up on your shoulders. And that's exactly where this is designed to attach. Matter of fact, all the interesting stuff uh, about this gear is actually on the inside. So let's go ahead and flip it over and take a look at it. All right, let's get into the uh, interesting parts of this system. First, you have the belt. And this belt is much wider than a U.S. Alice compatible belt. And let me put one in here for comparison. There we have it with the U.S. GI uh, Alice style belt. And as you can see, the thickness of the Alice style belt is between the attachment openings here on the German belt. So the German belt is a whole lot wider than the U.S. belt. And that leads to an interesting conundrum because you can find plenty of adapters that will allow you to attach German pouches to US Alice gear. So far in my research, I have not found the reverse. I have not found where you can make Alice gear fit on the German system. The system is designed to work with uh, two prongs on the back of the pouch that integrate with the top hole and then they have two buttons that come to the bottom and are secured with this little locking tab. That's how the pouch secures. And I would imagine, had a, if I had the canteen pouch, a compass pouch, pistol mag pouch compatible with the system, they would secure in the same way. Now, for demonstration purposes, I do have a U.S. Molly canteen attached. And if you attach that to the back of the system, between the strap support here, it kind of keeps it pretty stable from moving around too much. I would suggest that if you wanted it on another place on your belt, that you would pretty much tape it down or tie it down because as you can see the strap falls between the metal things pretty handily or the grommets excuse me or if you wanted to use Alice system you could just take the Alice clips off and resort to using zip ties I haven't tried that yet so I cannot uh, attest to the stability of that but it's something we will try in the future now the suspenders are uh, unique in the fact that they have dedicated attachment points right here uh, you thread the uh, canvas, and it's some type of cotton duck canvas, not nylon, so in the wet, this is not good because it soaks up moisture like crazy. Um, and it threads through this buckle that's permanently attached to the belt at this location. Same here in the, uh, on the back of it, it's attached to dedicated points, so you don't have much flexibility like you would with the Alice system. The backpack, backpack uh, attaches at a dedicated point right here across the, uh, your shoulder blades. There's attachment points with the same attachments as right here on the belt. You put it in there and it has a small snap that it goes around this strap lower on the um, support straps. And it just snaps in and locks into that one place. And uh, <clears throat> it's pretty much the only place you can mount it. You possibly could drop it to the belt but it would hang very low and you wouldn't have the support down there. That would of course be a personal choice. Um, this particular rig I've con considered, in, uh, configured, excuse me, in a light support weapon configuration where I need lots of magazines. It is my understanding, talking to my friends in the, who had been in the Bundeswehr, that you've got two G3 mag pouches 
Some guys, actually just one out of all the people I talked to, claimed he was issued four. So obviously I've taken up a lot of belt space, but uh, you could, if you wanted to, drop the pack down and act like a U.S. butt pack if you wanted to. For comparison's sake, I have placed a U.S. style butt pack right above the German pack to give you a size comparison. They are roughly about the same size and serve about the same function. Uh, there are some differences. The, for example, the German uh, pack is secured with the fast tech style buckles where the U.S. one is closed just by threading through the keepers. The U.S. one has Alice style mounting strips on the side so you can attach a first aid kit, extra canteen, extra pouch of any type that you want. Uh, the German pack has no such external attachment points uh, except for the lid. They have a little bit that you could uh, slide through here in a uh, parallel pattern and uh, there is an adjustable strap here so if you were like trying to tuck a small bedroll in or something like that you could get it done with those straps. Another interesting thing about this pack we're going to show you here is it has internal dividers and I know they're a little hard to see but you have one on each side which would look like it would hold like a uh, one liter water bottle of water approximately in size and you have a little slight pouch back here that looks like it's small enough just to hold papers probably like you could slide a map pouch or something in there and then of course you have the main compartment it is uh, rubberized to give it some water resistance and it does have drain holes in the bottom for uh, reviewing the shoulder straps front part I found it better to put the rig on it actually shows up better on camera so you can see what I'm talking about so as the straps come over you have these two parts right here and they have a set of grommets there is a German compass slash admin pouch that will attach to either position or if you even wanted to you could take an ammo pouch and move it up here why you would I don't know but you could but that is the attachment points there much like on the Alice system where you have the little cross piece of webbing where most people attach their compass pouch or first aid pouch also you have this sternum strap and it's got the German style fast tech two prong buckle without the center support and this strap is built into the rig this is not an optional add-on so you get this part of the rig whether you use it or not. Earlier in the video you probably noticed I had some USGI pistol mag pouches attached to this rig yet I had said they're not attachable to the German system. How to do that? Well this system to adjust the girth has an internal belt that you uh, adjust, make your length adjustment on and it has adjustments on both sides. The belt with the grommet holes in it is, is of a fixed um, length and you cannot adjust that. So my, to fit to my girth this leaves a little bit of the running tab exposed and I'm able to attach a pistol mag pouch that way with the US Alice system. As you can see there is a bit of play in it. It's a less than optimal solution uh, and I need to work on a better one but for now it does good enough. So is it useful? Well yes in the way that I use this which is I have my G3 somewhat configured in a light, suppre uh, light support weapon role. Uh, the ability to have lots of magazine pouches is uh, very handy. Uh, I wish I had the correct canteen carriers for it. The Molly one that I'm using uh, is a good substitute and it is functional, but it's less than optimal. Uh, I wish I had the correct magazine pouches for the pistol portion, but what I'm doing right here for pistol mags is good enough. It gets the job done. Uh, what, what do I not like about this? Uh, right here, the straps. They are made of the old uh, canvas duck, uh, much like the British 58 pattern or the US 1956 pattern. And when it gets wet, it retains water and moisture and increases the weight of the rig, which when you're in the field, anything that increases your weight is a negative. Uh, the pack being mounted uh, across the shoulder blades instead of in the traditional US position, I'm not going to say that's a plus or a minus because I think that just goes down to what you were used to. Um, I would prefer it as a butt pack, probably because that's what I'm used to. I would imagine that this is very inconvenient when you ruck with it, and that's the one thing I haven't done in this rig yet. I have not gone rucking with it. Uh, I do find the one advantage of having the pack mounted up high across your shoulder blades, it's a great way to carry your water bladder from your hydration system. So that does have a plus and kind of makes up for the lack of canteen compatibility with this system. What about cost? Well, 
but I got this rig for under 50 bucks. Now what did I get with the rig? I got the suspenders, I got the belt, I got the pack on the back, and I got four magazine pouches. Not bad. Got it for under 50 bucks, that includes shipping and handling. And I've kind of noticed that across the web, regardless of where you're purchasing from, generally they're all in the same area about that. Some are a little cheaper, some are a little more. Uh, caveat emptor, pay close attention to what exactly they're giving to you with the rig. Um, most of it seems to be lightly used. A couple of the pouches here that I have are, I'm going to say, unissued. Others have serious mileage on them. The rest of the rig seems to be uh, regularly used. Didn't go to the field much before it was uh, surplused. Um, if you're running a G3 system, then I would say this is a good rig for you. If you're running something other than a G3, this probably is not the answer. Uh, the good news about it is it's relatively cost effective being available for under $50 for like I said. Um, will this fit your needs? That's for you to decide. As mentioned at the start of this video, I'm not exactly sure of the Bundeswehr designation for this equipment and even people that had served in the Bundeswehr didn't seem to have a, a concise idea of what it was called. Uh, but if you know, please leave a comment down below. I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in for future field gear tests.